In this clip, we will learn how to measure how close random variables to the means. Recall that we explore two experiments in the practice. One is the hat problem, where there are n people, and they put the hat and get the hat back, and n people get the, their hats back at random, and we find out that the expected value of x where x is the x is the number of random variable x is the number of people who get their hat back own hat back and we find out that expectation of x is 1 right and we look at another experiment which is the dinner dish experiment okay and there again there are in people there are in people and in dishes okay and again we have random variable y be the number of people who get their dish on dish and again we figure out that the expected value of y is also one right but uh after the later exercise we try and we figure out that these these two random variable x and y why they are why they have the same expectation one of one they're different they are different uh a lot in terms of uh, the distribution because for x Okay, so for y, uh, the distribution look like this. You are a zero a lot of time, and then you are like n, some tiny probabilities. So if you average out, you here at one. Okay, but for the number of people who get their hats back, the prop uh, the distribution is more spread out. Okay, I don't know how it looks, but it it's sort of like spread out. Not like this, but uh, maybe something like that. So it it is more likely that you you get one, right? After a few ex trial, you get one. Okay. So um, so how how can we uh quantify this? Okay. So how we quantify how how spread out the random variable is? So in in what uh we, we refer to later, we will look at a random variable x, and we use this symbol mu to denote its expectation. We can use EX, but then uh, you have EX all around and it would be kind of confusing. So we use this, okay? So um, how are we gonna quantify how spread out the random variable is? So this is the expectation. So we would like to say uh, how, how far X from mu, right? One thing that we can try is to look at how, you know, how, how these two things differ right so maybe we can use this uh, expectation right because x is a random variable and and we cannot uh, talk about its value without um, the expector ex experiment but but expectation can tell us many things so maybe we want to take the average of the different between x and the mu okay and let's try to uh, practice our linearity of expectation a little bit so from linearity of expectation if you have two thing inside uh, the expectation and they add up or they subtract we can say that because they are linear right so the expected value of x minus mu is uh, expected value of x minus the expected value of mu right but mu is just a constant so turns out that this is equal to x minus mu, right? And you can try to figure out later on and what's the value of this and then it will not be zero, right? So um, this this uh, thing, we may try to use this, but then it turns out to be always zero. So it doesn't tell us anything about random variable x. So maybe we can try something else. Uh, because 
the reason why uh, they are zero because sometimes the value of this x minus mu are positive and sometimes they are negative, right? So they somehow cancel out. So um, we have maybe what what are what are the functions that we can use uh, to measure the difference between x and mu, right? Um, okay, so let's try to graph it a little bit. So this is the and this is the mu, right? You would like to uh, measure how far are x from the mu, right? So if you go further from the mu, you should have higher value, right? But the the original uh, x minus mu look like this. So this is mu, and then x x minus mu. It look look like that. So sometimes it's positive, sometimes it's negative. So uh, it's sort of cancel out. So maybe uh, what else can we do? All right. Um, you may think that uh, we can use. Uh, maybe we can just uh, take the absolute value, right? So absolute value of x minus mu, and this function look like this. So if x great is greater than mu, and then it just go up like that. Sorry, it should be a, a linear, right? But if x is uh, less than mu, then it look like this. Okay. This is kind of fine, but then. Um, uh this function is not uh smooth and so it's sometimes it's harder to deal with so people usually use another function and they talk about difference which is so this is mu uh this function sort of like give higher penalties to uh the value that get further so it's look like that Okay, so this is the square difference. Okay, so so this is what we 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 gonna use. Okay, so this uh, to, so to measure how spread out is uh to, of the variable a uh, random variable to its from its expectation, we are gonna use this term, right? Okay, so we measure the square difference the expected square difference of x from its mean, right? And this, this term has been used a lot, so people give it a name. It is a variance of the random variable x. Okay, but this form, although th this form is intuitive when we look at it, like what's, what is this value? So, oh, okay, so it's the expected square difference from the mean, right? So it's, it's square, so it's difference. Right, but somehow co to compute variant the variance from this form is a little bit uh, difficult because uh, you have x and you have to subtract it and you have to square it, right? So we ma we will manipulate it a little bit to get a simpler form. Okay, so this is kind of a practice for the another practice for the linearity of expectation. So so we would like to compute this, right? So let's expand it. So expected value of something equal should be equal, right? So x minus mu square is, is x square minus 2x mu plus mu square. Okay. And from the linearity, linearity of expectation, we know that this is, we can split the all the terms out, all right? So minus, and two and the mu are constant, so we can pull it out, okay? So this, we use the fact that, and this fact, you will show the fact yourself in the exercise. So this is a, expected value, a times expected value of x plus c, okay? So this is, so this is minus two mu, times expected value of x okay plus this is just a constant so the expected value of a constant is just a constant so mu square and uh, we leave this expected value of x square out uh, this is minus mu expected value of x is just mu right so it's minus 2 mu square plus mu square 
so they cancel out so you get so let me rewrite mu s this so it's minus expected value of, of x square so it's the expected value of square of x minus the expected value of x square so it's it's kind of nice so this with this definition it's uh, computing the variance of a random variable would be much easier okay so that's what we're going to do in the next clip